So bye, 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 bye. Everybody is FOMOing right now after the FOMC yesterday towards the end of 2023, where we are going to go through probably six rate cuts in 2024. Should you FOMO and chase this move or should you wait for a retracement? Should you dollar cost average and add to your existing position? I'll show you right now on my $250,000 portfolio that I show publicly with cryptos and stocks, what I am going to do in terms of bond retracements, in terms of SPX retracement between now and March. You got to expect that between now and March, there'll be one more retracement for tax selling, for tax harvesting, whether it's the end of the year or the beginning of the year. Everybody is crazy. Bloomberg this morning, sure, let me show you. Bloomberg craziness this morning. All in, great monetary pivot for 2024. Uh, the bond king, the bond king is telling you, gun like, that it's going to keep on going down with a gold mine predicting three extra rate cuts. Most importantly, there was an interesting article also on Zero Edge that was telling you that bonds might outperform stocks. And I'll explain later. It's really interesting. It's a really interesting concept. Right? We started early in great, some great position like uh, Coinbase, Meta this year, that we had two accounts in crypto. One that has done extremely well, a small one. I had $3,000, bought some altcoins. It went up $6,000, so it's like a triple. And one of the small ones, the one on the right is more like a traditional blue chip crypto tier one, which is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana and AVAX. Now, what am I going to do? What are we going to do? If you are in that case where you time properly with the tools and the indicators, your entry look in November 2022 at the low, low, low of Meta uh, Facebook. I bought it at 118. It's 317 actually. It's 334 today. Then we added at 208 because we still had the tool showing upside and potentially within the next two years, it'll be 500 you know, within the themes. So look here, June started buying Coinbase at 65 when nobody wanted Coinbase. Then September, the traditional September, October period when the market is weak, buy, 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 buy. Now, as of today, it's 150. It shows you 134 on that slideshow, but it's 150 as of uh, August, uh, sorry, December the 14th. So the key is what are we going to do? So let's go to charts. I'll show you some key charts to know because are you going to FOMO and, and keep on chasing the tops at 150 of Coinbase or are you going to wait retracement and what retracement and what tool can you use between the SPX, even if you don't have our tool, and the charts on ZN to help you time all of this appropriately. So let's go. So the most, most important charts, guys, in the world right now is this bond chart. So look here, for the past two years, lower high, lower high, they uh, increase the rates, increase the rates, bonds tank, tank, tank to the edge here of our calculator right there, which is your free probability box rule of third for long-term investing and swing trading for monthly, weekly, daily time frames. On the premium, soon we will have it on all time frames. And by the way, you can get that uh, tools here, absolutely free at the bottom by looking at the descriptions below this video, by texting us, by the way. So we made a, a bottom. As a matter of fact, if you look at the tools, the way the tools were behaving, right? And I take the replay, so you will see how they, you take the replay, say, okay, how did this behave on the replay with all these tools? Boom, look here. You had an 89% chance, 89% chance that the bonds, if you manage bonds all over the world, trillions of dollars, the tools between the two calculators, see the two calculator works like this. The left one gives you visually if you're overbought, oversold. The right one gives you extra levels and gives you the exact probability of success. And you have also the institutional zones and you also have the trigger. So here, you have the institutional zone, red dashes that converted. You had the edge of the left calculator with the edge of the right calculator with an exact 89% chance of success. 
Okay, so now look at this. You do the replay, you buy here, right there at the bottom, and you say, okay, replay, and look how the tools behave. And boom, the rest is history. Yeah, that's it. Boom, you reverse. So this is to show you how powerful the tools were to help us in getting long. I or I went on a long TMX, the long bone. But look here. What's next? If you're already in positions, bonds comes back in the channel. You do cost averaging in your theme. Like for instance, me, I like I'm very much into AI. I love the theme of AI because it will work for not only consumers but the military as well. Intel, AMD, right, Palantir, all of those are good themes on pullback. But look what can help you to time the dollar cost average and add into your position each time the ZN comes back into the channel. Eventually, it's going to reach those lower high at 122.15. See, the, the Fed, they gave themselves a buffer. And their buffer is from where we are now to where it can go here, to the lower high here. See, lower high from lower high for the past three years. It would still be a lower high, at which point I would be very careful of your portfolio. Maybe at that point, if you are long delta, you might offset your delta with SPXS, the triple bear ETF. So that would give you, let's say, 500 delta negative on a 700 delta long portfolio, LP long portfolio. And that would help me if it sells off, if I want to keep my positions to make money on the pullback, get out of the SPXS at support before it rebounds again and buy more assets. So this is one. Two, you need to watch where is the SPX. Look how crazy. The SPX is approaching over, so overbought area. Look, this is the head at uh, 48.25. This is the shoulder. Look, the last time we had this shoulder is a 47.50, 47.75. You need to be careful of those higher highs hitting here. There's a lot of exuberance coming to the end of the year with tax planning, the beginning of the year where people can push their taxes to the next year. And you need to be careful that they are playing a right shoulder coming up soon between this 4775, 4750 to this 4500 line here to potentially there's a black swan event to 4200. See those higher lows that would bring us at 4200. So I know already 4,200, 4,500, everyone is going to be a critical area for us to focus. And right now we are stretching the elastic towards the resistance of 47.75 going towards the end of the year. So be very careful. Now, on the crypto side, everybody is not giving Ethereum the respect because everybody is playing some crazy altcoin. In a couple of themes, people are playing gaming coins that have done great, like IMX, Superverse and everything. People are playing AI coins like Fetch and Rendered. Some people are playing uh, uh, the D-Pin, which are the infrastructures like uh, uh, Helium. Uh, what else in the infrastructures? You have Storch, you have Falcon. So people have made a lot of money on those. But I think as the ETF conversation on Ethereum is going to come back, if you want something safer, I think Ethereum between this 1850 coming up and this 2100 is a really nice risk to re reward ratio because they are going to retest the shoulder at 4,000 here. If they are able to punch the 2600 here, see this edge of the calculator. If you punch it, that becomes support and then we fly and we would fly to 5,500. So to me, when I look at Ethereum and saying, okay, I have $300 of downside for $3,000 of upside, it's a 10 to one risk ratio. So it's not the most exciting play for crypto, but I'm saying that if you have an opportunity and another pullback this weekend or leading between now and March, 2024, to look at your risk ratio between 1800 and 2100, is very high on Ethereum, okay? So at least think about it 
you know it's not going to be bitcoin it's not going to be the other crazy themes new themes but it's interesting now you got to understand do we add to portfolio do they don't me in my case as you've seen right you might have seen already in some other videos i'm managing positions like this on meta where we with the tools and the indicator started to accumulate you know like crazy where we were supposed to accumulate in the cycle which was november november you know and march we started buying the meta 206 118 of last year already you know at the low and now it's 330 something even better recently right come base you know we killed the come base right we've we've uh, um, accumulated come base in june 65 dollars 78 dollars 71 74 well it's 150 dollars today right so this is the type of position i don't want to sell i want to accumulate on pullback meaning if the spx pull back at 4500 4200 within the next three four months even though we are in a great cycle now where we are going to have a new president we are going to have an economy roaring you know they get like very similar to the roaring 20s 100 years ago what you have to be careful is in 2028 2029 right but that's where you dark cost averages you add to your position if you want to protect your solutions i was telling your positions i was telling my guys this morning you better off buying an spy put a cheap spy put for june uh january 2024 as a protection or june 2024 right that is a better protection than selling we had a student this morning a trader with us she sold the cover called against a, a, a great entry stock well she's going to lose her stock if she doesn't roll the call because when the market is in a bullish mode it's very dangerous to sell the cover calls you want to make the money on the asset because her stock could go from 150 it was crowd crowd strike from 150 to a thousand but then a short call is 210 and the stock is already 290. so you got to be careful to be taken out of your assets so if you want to protect asset and delta you better off have spxs short or spy and this is how i am going to continue showing you the public portfolio you know from it's not all our portfolio but it's portfolio we started investing in the last couple of months, $214,000 here, right? And the crypto, two portfolio on the crypto and see how those portfolio will perform. One portfolio you don't see, let me see, uh, here we go. I did very well, started with a $3,000, it's $9,000 by buying those degenerated altcoins. And this is why this is the small portfolio, small here bigger here with the tier one cryptos and besides bitcoin i think ethereum is going to do well i think also on pullback you can look at avax and solana but those have already gone a lot so i will wait for a very very decent pullback before i even enter those two and continue adding to my cost basis of entry that we did with the tool on bitcoin and ethereum so again be patient let the stuff pull back on Ethereum, on the bonds, on the S&P. Do not chase if you have not chased. Like right now will be the absolute worst, guys, before Christmas to chase this move. You will have one opportunity probably before all of this is done to re-enter this market. So I hope it was helpful, everybody. So again, everyone, Merry Christmas if you celebrate. If you don't celebrate, happy holidays. Hope this video will help you. Don't forget the left calculator that you can get absolutely for free if you text us in the US and Canada at 954-758-8145. Works like peanut and jelly with the one on the right that gives you the real-time probabilities and extra support and resistance level within the two calculator. They work together with the trend box at the top, the institutional zones, and all the other premium tools. Try the tools, guys. 30 days, you have nothing to lose. 
Otherwise, just get the free ones and you'll see how it helps you tremendously for your swing trading and long-term investing. You take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.